and really tough to score on when you attack his left leg, and that just so happens to be Balmaceda's go-to leg attack, that single leg. So we will see the rubber meet the road here. So we are now underway, 160 pounds. It's Brevin Balmaceda in the green versus Alex Facundo, just a sophomore from Michigan. Facundo out of powerhouse, Davison, Michigan, Brent Metcalf, John Reeder, Paul Donahoe, all alums, and Facundo keeping the, the tradition going. South Dade High School for Balmaceda. Some tough kids from there as well. Nice hard snaps from, from Facundo. Perhaps a little feel out process here in the first 35, 40 seconds of the match. Facundo really tough defensively, but has a lot of attacks. He kind of will lull you to sleep, then he'll get to his elbow control and has lightning quick duck unders, left side high crotch. Good level changes from Balmaceda. Recently committed to Oklahoma State. Going to be a cowboy. That one came down to Iowa. Hawkeyes and Oklahoma State. And he'll be wrestling for Coach Smith. As you see, Balmaceda kind of putting that hand right in the Juggling. Right under the chin there. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, look at that. Club and span. And other goes way. the other way. Kind of a really nice dummy arm high crotch as well. Saw that at Agony and Ames last year. And looking for that single. Now underhook right side. And he'll go right from here to a single leg. Will Facundo, but Balmaceda wisely clears. Shot from space, nice single, here we go. Get that, the, the length of his arms. The ability to get to that leg up in the air, has it on the edge, Balmaceda fighting. He's down on his hip, he's gonna catch Good the leg pass. in the last second and passes it across. Avoids giving up the takedown with five seconds to go, he should be okay here. And that's gonna be nothing. Out of bounds or time, both, doesn't matter. Great Stop attack, wrestling. and it looked like Facundo had, Facundo had the, the necessary height for that finish, but at the last second, that leg pass from Balmaceda bails him out, and we're gonna go scoreless into the second. Facundo really turned heads. He, he was a known guy coming in last year to Super 32. Everyone knew he was the real deal, but he made a deep run at, a, I think it was 145 pounds, made the semis, lost a, an ultimate tiebreakers, would have made the finals. So really kind of put himself even more so on the national radar. When you make a deep run as a freshman at a tournament as tough as Super 32, you know you're legit. Now, Balmaceda gonna get to work from his best position, which is on top. You see him trying to chop to the wrist. And a good job building up from Facundo. This is huge. Balmaceda oh. not gonna give it up easy. He might have missed the locked hands. No, nope. Sammy thing. Julian did not miss it. On to the mic. And that's why you have that second official. It was not viewable from the whistle. And um, that's a point, and that's a big point, too. Yeah, big first point of the match. Balmaceda lines up on that left side, and maybe you say, hey, man, this is my opportunity. If I get a turn, that locked hands doesn't matter. Really nice claw tilt as well for Balmaceda. As he lines up there, he's going to it on the right side. Certainly Facundo aware, but being aware does not always mean you can prevent as they go out of bounds. Facundo doing a good job. 39 seconds, he's had to work really hard for two restarts. Back at it. Up to his feet again is Facundo. And he's away. 2-0 lead now for Alex Facundo. And looking oh. kind of a misdirect there is Balmaceda, but Facundo was ready for it. We got a little eye pokage, perhaps. Unintentional, I assume. 102 to go in the second period. Facundo up by two. By the time Facundo's a senior, it's very possible he's gonna be the number one prospect in the country. Based on the big boards, there's a single leg attempt. 
Now trying to go the other way. He'll go Great high position. crotch that side, single leg the other way. Likes to go inside reach for his single. Kundu used great head position to stop both of those shots. Good and again, job. he stops and looks to re-attack. Quickly back to the body, but Balmacita fights that off. Over under position near the edge, transitions to under overhook. Underhook for Facundo. Well, Facundo will also go single, but sometimes you see him come, oh, oh wow, now he ends up on that single from the hook. Attacking the ankles, Balmacita now oh, near side cradle. cradle. He's got the cradle locked. And that's not two. He's got to pull him in Put him on and time. running out of time again on the edge. But that's not two when you're uh, kind of straight out in front there. Yeah, it has to be on the hip, which it wasn't that last match, but in the moment I thought All right, it has got choice. Facundo will get wrists sometimes. Whoop, he got elbowed by the ref. Yeah. Accidental, it happens. But Facundo doesn't even want to roll the dice. He's going to let him up right away. Maybe he thinks he can take him down again. I mean, you don't want to risk a reversal, a tough guy to get away from. Don't, anything to avoid his best position. Get underneath, sure. Hard hand fighting as they pick it up. Just a little bit more, 142 to go hard. Ooh, yeah, hard oh club to I heard that one over here. Back to that right side, and he'll go pick occasionally, Will Facundo from that position, but Balmacita clears out of it. Right club in there, looking to Level changes Balmacita, but Facundo been set up for it. Oh, nice oh, job. He's wow. in position Ghosted to score. Him. And he just like that kind of disappeared on Balmacita. Facundo with another, well, with a takedown and two more points on the board, a three point lead. And Stunder Paul Donahoe says, let him up. And he shoves him off. Maybe we'll look to pour it on a little bit, up 4-2 now is Alex Facundo. Beautiful attack there, just kind of disappeared. There's a shot, now we'll see if he can go re-attack. Yes, oh, he does, nice beautiful. single leg. Looking to beat the Wizard, wasn't able to last time. Tries the limp arm, and Facundo all over it. You uh -huh. think he was down, he's up 4-2 and he wants some more. 47 seconds to go in the third period. And he's he's uh, landed that knee pull single multiple times. A couple times they ran out of bounds. It just, Balmacita fought that one off, but uh, he, he can reach very far. Go, go gadget arms, if you will. And one more hands to the face. Oh, and they're gonna hit Balmacita for a point, and that is huge, making it 5-2 now for Facundo. So a locked hands and uh, a hands to the face. And now, what was a takedown match is no more. 30 seconds to go. We're gonna need a takedown to a turn or something crazy to happen for Brevin Balmacita to get his hand raised. Oh. He's gonna attack, but look at the drag Facundo. goal behind. Woo. Two more for Facundo, 7-2, making a statement. Facundo got his motor going here in the third period, man. He was getting in on more shots. He finished that one. He was close to scoring a couple more times. Um, and you got to think this is just going to be confidence moving forward. He may give up. No, no, he says, he get off me. I might score. Oh, man, nothing yet. Not and one close. second, 7-3 for Kundo. Walking back proud to center. No, knowing he's going to get his hand raised and overtake the number one spot. That's going to do it. Sophomore number one. Alex Facundo, what a performance. You think uh, you think any college coaches are gonna be interested in him? There's gonna be some offers. Couple. 